Welcome back to the channel, good friends. Brian from Apex Detail. Today I want to show you an effective, economical, and simple system for paint correction for uh, car, truck, motorcycle finishes. That is Phoenix EOD, fabulous finishing polish, and the Papa Cut diminishing compound. So yes, that gives you a hint, diminishing abrasives. I do have a black test panel waiting in the wings. We'll get to that. I hope this shows through the camera, uh, Corvette here, and as many of you know, I do a lot of these, and I show the correction on these can be quite uh, laborious, as the finish is hard, it's stubborn, this here has scratches, it has water stains and etching, and we're going to take care of that with the Papa Cut diminishing compound. This compound is pad dependent. So depending on what type of finish you're working on, what type of imperfections you are chasing, you can get the work done with just this compound to cut. The innovative diminishing abrasives do cut quickly. I'm just going to do a crisscross pattern here and we'll wipe off the residue and we'll come in and we'll see what kind of improvements we have made in just that short period of time. I have a foam cutting pad attached to my Shine Mate here, the cordless Shine Mate, which has a 15 millimeter throw. The speed will be around the fourth speed setting with um, pressure down on the panel, equaling uh, somewhat to a firm handshake. Let me stop there. I'll pull off the tape and we'll wipe off the residue and I'll bring you guys in close. On these hard, stubborn finishes, uh, including the Corvette here, sometimes we need to break out the rotary. Sometimes we need to do, to do multiple passes and of course that spikes temperatures. So whenever we can find a combination or a team that can get the work done quickly, efficiently, safely, and especially when it's economical, um, we've had a good day. All right, I hope you can see this white being a difficult color to demonstrate on, but with the hard surface here, I thought this would be a great demonstration. I often get questions how to quickly remove imperfections and be efficient on these hard, stubborn clears. And as you can see here, it removed the etching, the, the staining, the water spots, and the swirls as well. Fantastic job. So just continue this process and on these cement-like finishes that are that hard, it doesn't take much to finish down. So keep using the diminishing compound. Papa Cut, just swap out pads to a softer pad and you'll be able to finish down easily and it will look fantastic. Let's jump on to a test panel. This will be a lot easier for you to see the turnaround and the improvement. Uh, this panel's not on the car for a good reason. It's completely trashed. And on top of that, I made it worse. I scuffed it up. So we're going to use this team. We're going we're to use the combo as a team, the Papa Cut, and then the Fab uh, Polish, Finishing Polish. And we'll see what type of increase when it comes to gloss we can get um, out of this quick one-two punch. And then also, do we remove... Uh, is it removing too much clear? Is it removing... Um, uh, too much clear that you wouldn't have enough to protect that gorgeous base coat underneath? Let's find out. A great question I know I'm going to get is what type of pads can I team up with this combination for success? Uh, 
Uh, and if you remember, a uh, pretty long time ago, I did a review quite similar to this with a cut and finish system, the Oberk system, and they had their own pads. This here, whatever pads you may already have in stock, Lake Country, Eurofiber, Kokemi, you're going to be successful and get fantastic results. Just surround yourself with pads from that line that you choose that are finish all the way up to cut and anything in between and then do plenty of test areas to find out what works for the finish you're working on. No dusting, long cycle time or open time, easy to work with and no problems at all working this in direct sunlight. Excellent cycle time or open time. So you could have done more passes and you could have worked the area much longer than I did. And the only reason that we have some dust here is because my pad is absolutely filthy. Uh, I like to blow it off between passes. Wipe off is easy. Again, even in direct sunlight in hotter climates, this is a nice, easy product to work with. And you can see the results already. A huge turnaround and improvement with just a crisscross pattern. You can do another pass just to clean things up even more. Let's swap pads. Switch over to the fabulous finishing polish and we'll see how much depth and clarity we can get out of this section. Now this would be fantastic for one step or if you're just into doing paint enhancements quick and easy around the car, not really concentrating on one area or another, just speed and efficiency, and you'll get nice turnaround with decent gloss. A huge turnaround in just a little bit of time. This whole video is what, 10 minutes long? And we've just work, been working in this section a fraction of that time. Translate that to make, getting around a whole vehicle, a trashed vehicle. You'll get around it quickly and you'll have some excellent results. Let's get some numbers behind what we're seeing. 40, 50 gloss units in this trashed area. And we'll hop on over to the area we just corrected and we're going to see mid 90s absolutely fantastic and remember this is before protection
a decent one-two punch, especially for those mobile just starting out. You want to keep it simple. You don't want to get things too complicated, go down the rabbit hole when you're first starting out. Have we removed too much clear? Is this too aggressive of a combination? Well, no, we just removed a fraction of a mill uh, turning this panel around. So good news. I'll put a link down below if you want to look into it further. This has been Brian from Apex Detail. Catch you in the next video.